ground improvement through dynamic compaction. Brought to you by CTC Geotechnical Private Limited. Dynamic compaction is based on this very idea, magnified a hundredfold and more. It may appear simple, but the magnification of the idea automatically leads to an immense increase in both the magnitude and complexity of the task. Yet, the benefits are equally immense. Essentially, dynamic compaction improves weak soils by controlled high energy tamping. This is achieved by the repeated dropping of large hammers from predetermined heights and patterns. The repeated application of the high energy impacts causes deep densification of the deposits being treated. Densification to depths of 5 to 12 meters is routine and up to 30 meters has been reported. The technique was pioneered by Dr. Louis Menard of France who first employed high energy tamping in 1969. It was taken up on a regular basis in the UK in 1973 and in North America in 1975. Structures that have been built on soil improved through dynamic compaction include sites in over 30 countries like the USA, the UK, France, Singapore, Japan, Canada, Germany and many others. Typically, hammers range from 5 to 30 tons in weight. In each successive pass, the drop locations, grid size and other variables are varied according to the compaction program. The last pass is typically an ironing pass with a lighter hammer. A quick glance at the SPT values will demonstrate to you the amazing effectiveness of dynamic compaction. You will notice that months after the compaction is completed, the SPT values show an even greater improvement. And the cost of 340 rupees per square meter compares very favorably with alternative techniques of ground improvement, such as sand replacement and compaction, vibroflotation stone columns, and granular piles. Dynamic compaction is not only technically superior and cost-effective, it is also the ideal method to improve a vast variety of soil conditions. The best improvement is affected in loose, sandy, silty soils. Even old landfills, like construction debris and sanitary fills can be treated. Compaction underwater has also been attempted successfully.